45. Farewell to the month of Ramadan. English translation. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. O God, he who desires no repayment, O he who shows no remorse at bestowal, O he who rewards not his servant for attack, your kindness is a new beginning, your pardon is a free bounty, your punishment justice, your decree a choice for the best. If you bestow, you stain not your bestowal with obligation, and if you withhold, you withhold not in transgression. You show gratitude to him who thanks you, while you have inspired him to thank you. You reward him who praises you, while though you have taught him your praise. You cover him whom, if you willed, you would expose. And you are generous towards him from whom, if you willed, you would withhold. Both are worthy of your exposure and withholding, but you have founded your actions upon gratuitous bounty, channeled your power into forbearance, received him who disobeyed you with clemency and disregarded him who intended wrongdoing against himself. You await their turning back without haste and refrain from rushing them towards repentance so that the perisher among them may not perish because of you, and the wretched amongst them may not be wretched through your favor, but only after you prolonged excusing him and successive, and successive arguments against him as an act of generosity through your pardon, O generous, and an act of kindliness through your tenderness, O clement, it is you who have opened for your servants a door to your pardon, which you have named repentance. You have placed upon that door a pointer from your revelation, or else they will stray from it. You have said, Blessed is your name. Repent towards God with unswerving repentance. It may be that your Lord will acquit of your evil deeds and will admit you into the gardens beneath which rivers flow upon the day when God will not degrade the prophet and those who have faith along with him, their light running before them and on their right hands, and they say, Our Lord, complete for us our light and forgive us. Surely you are powerful over everything. Surah 66 verse 8 What is the excuse of him who remains heedless of entering that house after the opening of the door and the setting up of the pointer? It is you who have raised the prize against yourself to the advantage of your servants, desiring their profit and their trade with you, their triumph through reaching you and their increase on account of you. For you have said, Blessed is your name and high are you exalted. Whosoever brings a good deed shall have ten the like of it, and whosoever brings an evil deed shall only be recompensed the like of it. Surah 6 verse 160 You have said, The likeness of those who expend their wealth in the way of God is as the likeness of a grain of corn that sprouts seven years in every year a uh, hundred grains. So God multiplies unto whom he wills. Surah 2 verse 226 you have said, Who is he that will lend to God a good loan, and he will multiply it for him manifold? And you have sent down in the Qur'an similar verses on the multiplying of good deeds. It is you who have pointed them through your speech from your unseen and your encouragement, in which lies their good fortune towards that which had you covered it from them, their eyes would not have perceived, their ears would not have heard, and their imaginations would not have grasped. For you have said, Remember me and I will remember you. Be thankful to me and be you not thankless towards me. Surah 2 verse 152 You have said, If you are thankful, surely I will increase you. But if you are thankless, my chastisement is surely terrible. Surah 14 verse 7 and you have said, Supplicate me and I will respond to you. Surely those who were too proud to worship me shall enter hell utterly abject. Surah 40 verse 60 Hence you have named supplicating you, worship and refraining from it, waxing proud. 
and you have threatened that the refraining from it would yield entrance into Jahannam in utter abjection. So they remember you for your kindness and they thank you for your bounty. They supplicate you by your command and they donate for you in order to seek your increase. In all this lies their deliverance from your wrath and their triumph through your good pleasure. Were any creature himself to direct another creature to the like of that to which you yourself have directed your servants, he would be described by beneficence, qualified by kindness and praised by every tongue. So to you belongs praise as long as there is found a way to praise you and as long as there remains for praising words by which you may be praised and meanings which may be spent in praise. O he who shows himself praiseworthy to his servants through beneficence and bounty, flooding them with kindness and graciousness, how much your favor has been spread about amongst us, your kindness lavished upon us, and your goodness singled out for us. You have guided us to your religion which you have chosen, your creed with which you are pleased, and your path which you have made smooth. And you have shown us proximity to you and arrival at your generosity. O oh God, you have appointed among the choicest of those duties and the most special of those obligations, the month of Ramadan, which you have singled out from other months, chosen from among all periods and errors and preferred over all times of the year, through the Qur'an and the light which you have sent down within it, the faith which you have multiplied by means of it, the fasting which you obligated therein, the standing in prayer which you encouraged at its time, and the night of decree which you magnified therein, the night which is better than a thousand months, Surah 97 verse 3. Through it you have preferred us over the other communities, and through its excellence you have chosen us to the exclusion of the people of the creeds. We fasted by your command in its daylight. We stood in prayer with your help in its night, presenting ourselves by its fasting and its standing to the mercy with which you have held up before us. And we found through it the means to your reward, and you are full of what is sought from you, munificent with what is asked of your bounty, and near to him who strives for your nearness. This month stood amongst us in a standing place of praise, accompanied us with the compassion companionship of one approved, and profited us with the most excellent prophet of the world's creatures. Then it separated from us at the completion of its time, the end of its term, and the fulfillment of its number. So we bid farewell to it with the farewell of one whose parting pains us, whose leaving fills us with gloom and loneliness, and to whom we have come to owe a safeguarded claim and observed inviolability and a discharged right. We say, Peace be upon you, O greatest month of Allah, O festival of his friends. Peace be upon you, O most noble of accompanying times, O best of months and days and hours. Peace be upon you, month in which expectations come near and good works are scattered about. Peace be upon you, comrade, who is great in worth when found and who torments through absence when lost anticipated friend whose parting gives pain. Peace be upon you, familiar, who brought comfort in coming, thus making us happy, who left loneliness in going, thus giving anguish. Peace be upon you, neighbor, in whom hearts became tender and sins became a few. Peace be upon you, helper, who aided against shaitan, companion, who made easy the paths of good doing. Peace be upon you, how many became free men of God within you. How happy those who observed the respect due to you. Peace be upon you, how many the sins you erased, how many the kinds of faults you covered at over. Peace be upon you, how drawn out were you for the sinners, how awesome were you in the hearts of the faithful. Peace be upon you, month with which no days compete. Peace be upon you, month with which is peace in all affairs. Peace be upon you, whose companionship is not disliked. You, whose friendly mixing is not blamed. Peace be upon you, just as you have entered upon us with blessings and cleansed us of the defilement of offenses. Peace be upon you, you are not bid farewell in annoyance, nor is your fasting left in weariness. Peace be upon you, object of seeking before your time. 
object of sorrow before your passing. Peace be upon you, how much evil was turned away from us through you, how much good flowed upon us because of you. Peace be upon you and upon the night of decree, which is better than a thousand months. Peace be upon you, how much we craved you yesterday. How intensely we shall yearn for you tomorrow. Peace be upon you and upon your bounty, which has now been made unlawful to us, and upon your blessings gone by which have now been stripped away from us. O God, we are the people of this month, through it you have ennobled us and given us success because of your kindness, while the wretched are ignorant of its time, made unlawful to them is its bounty because of their wretchedness. You are the patron of the knowledge of it by which you have proffered us, and its prescribed practices to which you have guided us. We have undertaken through your given success its fasting and its standing in prayer, but with shortcomings, and we have performed little of much. O oh God, so to you belongs praise and admission of evil doing and confession of negligence, and to you belongs remorse firmly knitted in our hearts and seeking of pardon sincerely uttered by our tongues. Reward us in spite of the neglect that befell us in this month with a reward through which we may reach the bounty desired from it and win the varieties of its craved stores. Make incumbent upon us your pardon for our falling short of your right in this month and make our lives which lie before us reach the coming month of Ramadan. Once you have made us reach it, help us perform the worship of which you are worthy. Cause us to undertake the obedience which you deserve and grant us righteous works that we may fulfill your rights in these two months of the months of time. O oh God, as for the small and large sins which we have committed in this our month, the misdeeds into which we have fallen and the offenses which we have earned purposefully or in forgetfulness, wronging ourselves thereby or violating the respect to the others. Bless Muhammad and his household. Cover us over with your covering. Pardon us through your pardoning. Place us not before the eyes of the gloaters because of that. Stretch not towards us the tongues of the defamers and employ us in that which will alleviate and expiate. Whatever you disapprove from us within it through your clemency, which does not run out, and your bounty, which does not diminish, O oh God, bless Muhammad and his household, redress our being afflicted by our month, bless us in this day of our festival and our fast breaking. Make it one of the best of days that have passed over us, the greatest in attracting your pardon and the most effacing towards sins, and forgive us our sins, both the concealed and the public. O oh God, with the passing of this month, make us pass forth from our offenses. With his departure, make us depart from our evil deeds and appoint us thereby amongst its most felicious people the most plentiful of them in portion and the fullest of them in share. O oh God, when any person observes this month as it should be observed, safeguards its inviolability as it should be safeguarded, attends to its bounds as they should be attended to, fears its misdeeds as they should be feared, or seeks nearness to you with any action of nearness seeking, which makes incumbent upon him your good pleasure and bends towards him your mercy. Give to us the like of that from your wealth and bestow it upon us in multiples through your bounty. For your bounty does not diminish, your treasuries do not decrease, but overflow. The mines of your beneficence are not exhausted, and your bestowal is the bestowal full of delight. O oh God, bless Muhammad and his household, and write for us the like of the wages of him who fasted in it or worships you within it until the day of resurrection. O oh God, we repent to you in our day of fast breaking, which you have appointed for the faithful a festival and a joy, and for the people of your creed a time of assembly and gathering. From every misdeed we did, ill work we sent ahead, or evil thought we secretly conceived, the repentance of one who does not harbor a return to sin and who afterwards will not go back to offense, and unswerving repentance, rid of doubt and wavering. So accept it from us, be pleased with us and fix us within it. O God, provide us with fear of the threatened punishment, 
and yearning for the promised reward, so that we may find the pleasure of that for which we supplicate to you, and the sorrow of that from which we seek sanctuary in you, and place us with you among the repenters, those upon whom you have made your love obligatory and from whom you have accepted the return to obeying you, O most just of the just. O God, show forbearance towards our fathers and our mothers and all the people of religion, those who have gone and those who will pass by until the day of resurrection. O God, bless our prophet Muhammad and his household, as you have blessed your angels brought near Bless him and his household, as you have blessed your prophets sent out. Bless him and his household, as you have blessed your righteous servants. And better than that, O Lord of the worlds, a blessing whose benediction will reach us, whose benefits will attain to us, and through which our supplication may be granted. You are the most generous of those who are beseeched, the most sufficient of those in whom confidence is had, the most bestowing of those from whom bounty is asked. You are powerful over everything. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al-sami'u al-alim. Sadaqallahu al-azim.